All right, Alan, so it actually kind of works out because when you hear the bubbles, I think, you know, something refreshing, like a, a drink, a soda or something, right? Like soda. So what we're going to look at in the lab today, if you've got your lab coat on, you've got your protective equipment, is we're <laughs> going to take a look at Pepsi Refresh. And Pepsi Refresh is one of these sort of notorious social media campaigns that created a lot of buzz, and it's created a lot of negative buzz, and people have, have called it a disaster. People haven't been very kind I was gonna about say, Pepsi It seems refresh. like there's been a lot more knocks than there's been positive There's been a lot of knocks, and I think it starts with this idea that if you're going to go big, sometimes you can be spectacularly successful when you're going big. They went big. Mm -hmm. They took money from the Super Bowl campaign and said, we're going to give it away. We're going to put it into a social media community building campaign and have people essentially interact with us on Twitter and Facebook. and apply for grants. What a great idea. They're going to give money out to the community. Sounds like a no-lose situation, except bam, the social media critics have spoken, and it's a disaster. I started behind. looking behind the scenes a little bit, and you know, when people talk about sort of matter of fact that this was a failure, it didn't work, it makes me think, really? Hmm. Let's put it in the lab bench. Let's start to peel back the onion a little bit. And what's interesting is, Let's judge this the way that we would judge any type of real community building mm -hmm. program. So it's about building community. So maybe number one, it's unfair to think about Pepsi Refresh if we just say, listen, the campaign rolled out. Shouldn't there be instant results, sales results? Isn't it just like any other type of campaign? Well, I think that's the difference right there because in advertisement, that's what people expect. They spend $4 million on the, the funny ad. And that hopefully go out and buy it right, right then. And if it doesn't, it's a failure. And the sales have gone down and, well, of course, first observation is overall sales of you know carbonated beverages are kind of going down in general so we yep. can't blame Pepsi refresh for people drinking less soda number Absolutely. one number two is let's look at all the word of mouth that this is creating so this is building a community it's building essentially the next generation of Pep PepsiCo customers mm -hmm. so judging it based on a time window that we might have used for a traditional let's put up a billboard in the next month did more people go to the store oh people didn't go to the store it failed i think that's sort of unfair to judge this campaign strictly on that metric so if you look at the types of grants a skate park a new athletic field mm -hmm. uniforms for a marching band it seems like there's a theme there that they're putting money into the community and when that high school needs to think about which vendor they're going to use at their football stadium do you think that they might give a little bit of favorable treatment to PepsiCo because Absolutely. they see that the band is marching out in their uniforms that were provided via Pepsi Refresh? Not that there's a quid pro quo there, but this is all about building relationships and creating you know, word of mouth and essentially creating your ambassadors for the brand. So that's all great. That's all the soft side of the lab. If we really drive some mm -hmm. you know, current into our test bench here, what's the real result that we care about? Business results. The critics have said that Pepsi Refresh didn't work because sales didn't go up. Well, lo and behold, Pepsi's Q3, PepsiCo now, because it's a company yep. of a variety of different Absolutely. beverages and food and, and other properties. Oh, by the way, PepsiCo's third quarter profits rose 4%. So something's happening. Now, whether that has anything to do with or a little bit to do with Pepsi Refresh. It has to have a little bit to do with it. It has to have something right? to do with it. And for the same reason why... If the critics said that Pepsi Refresh, you know, caused sales to go down, and we're starting to say, well, maybe a little bit, but that's not really fair. Can't we give it some credit in terms of the overall PepsiCo uh, corporate results? And after all, it's not just Pepsi Refresh for soft drinks. It's PepsiCo's project. So I think it's giving goodwill across all of the different brands, and I think at a minimum, it's too early to say that it was a success or a failure. But I think that the lesson here is that this is a multifaceted campaign. And again, taking a simplistic view of whether it worked or not really does it disservice. And it's the same case with any kind of social campaign. Yeah, we need to have real metrics. And real metrics are things like sales of product. But also real metrics are things like how did the corporation do overall mm -hmm. in terms of its corporate results.